So it is quite spectacular that you know we are, as I mentioned, coming together here from 25 different countries, and we're hosting you all here of all places in Australia, in Melbourne. And I do also want to take that opportunity to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land at which this studio is built, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation, who, of course, uh, are never ceded this land and centuries later are still suffering from the oppressive colonial regime. Um, no further ado, I will hand over to our two superstar hosts today, Eddie and Munib. Enjoy. So I will just formally introduce myself. My name is Munib Karavdic, and I'm a conjoint professor at the uh, Australian Graduate School of Business, as well as uh, the CEO of Wave Design Company. And I was recently appointed as a Domaci Chlan Academy in Nauka i Metnosti Bosni Herd. I iskoristio priliku da ovaj, pozdravim moje kolege koji su isto imenovani skoro, a o tome ću malo više pričat. Ahmed, Namik su tu, tako da ću pričat malo više ovaj, poslije u poznavanju. Good morning everyone, my name is Eri Čustović, for those of you that don't know me, but I think I know most of you in this room here, since I invited many of you. But uh, I'm an academic at La Trobe University in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, my background is engineering, electronics, I do all sorts of things. And I'm also the founder of Bosnia Herzegovina Futures Foundation with my younger brother, Rashad. It's an absolute pleasure to see so many of you in this room here and the few that will drop in as we continue on with our presentation. And Munib and I really look forward to having some vibrant discussions with you in the breakout sessions as well as in this joint space here. So our agenda for today is rel relatively simple and please don't hold the gun to our heads if we, by some chance, skip or maybe extend or shorten a part of the agenda. And that's the reason we didn't put any timing next to each one of these items here. But you'll see that we will go through two breakout sessions and we'll come back into the main room where you guys will have a chance to share some of those discussion points with the rest of us to enrich the overall discussion. What I will say is that the purpose of today is to really give you guys an opportunity to meet each other, to discuss, to chat, less so for Munib and I to do the talking, but more so the facilitation. The intention, of course, is to keep the discussion going beyond this session here. We do have the full list of attendees. Some people, as always, may not be able to attend, but we'll share all of that information with you and we will try to document as much of the discussions as possible. Uh, before we get into what we're going to do today, I just want to briefly say how we got to having this particular meeting here today. As you, some of you know quite vividly, uh, we started this foundation about seven years ago, Bosnia Herzegovina Futures Foundation, and its sole purpose really is to empower young people in Bosnia to do incredible things. And we're not the only ones doing this. Many of you are doing that through academic institutions. Some of you are doing that through mentoring, through teaching, through employing people. Collectively, we're doing that. What our organization, besides empowering young people specifically, we focus kind of on four key areas. One of them is developing their leadership skills. The other one is technology-based. Um, entrepreneurship is important as well. And the fourth one that we focus on, and of course we work in partnership with many organizations, including the ones that you represent, is develop research capacities of young people. And we start at the low end and we work our way all the way through. And as part of that research portfolio of the things that we do, we have various activities. And I'm just going to briefly show you what we do and how what we're doing today fits into the grand scheme of things. So we run this competition called Three Minute Thesis, and I hope that many of you will have an opportunity to promote this activity as well. Some of you have participated in the past. The purpose of this competition really is to give young Bosnia Herzegovina researchers an opportunity to share their research in a way that the general public can consume and understand. And that's not an easy thing to do for us researchers because we're used to going to conferences where we speak to people that we un know that understand us and so on. The competition's been going for a few years. We've distributed, I think, something like 55,000 Bosnian uh, marks uh, of awards and prizes. And we've built this incredible network. And some of you are here as a result of that connection that we made in that competition. More importantly, we've had a lot of judges. So 323 judges, researchers like yourself being part of that competition. Ultimately, we're building a community. The competition is great and rewarding for young people, but for the rest of us, it's a good way to connect and recognize who is doing what around the world. Besides that, we also established a research award for young female scientists in Bosnia and Herzegovina, which gives uh, two researchers every year an award, 5,000 Bosnian marks, to travel to any conference of their choosing. 
and it's a fantastic way to honor the legacy of Veda Schneider, who was one of the you know, founders of research for women in Bosnia and Herzegovina. She was also the first dean in the former Yugoslavia. She achieved a lot of things, and we wanted to honor her name, but we also want to make sure that her legacy is continued through this award by rewarding run, run, uh, young scientists in the country. I won't go into the details of all the winners and what they've done, but their experiences have been fascinating. We've also run the Virtual School of Research Communications to teach young people how to communicate scientific ideas. We've had a lot of participation, and that content is now readily available on our platform for those that want to follow it. Last of all, we are now in the process of building what's called a Research Knowledge Hub, and you can all contribute to this hub. It's essentially a platform that's going to allow anyone around the world to make content in the local languages to teach young people in Bosnia how to conduct research. Everything from writing abstracts to presenting at conferences and everything else in between. And we've already had a lot of hands up who contribute to that and that's going to grow and grow and grow. The purpose is really for this to be in the local languages because there's already a lot of content in English available which doesn't always translate well to the local uh, environment. So why are we here? Why did I mention all of this? Because one of the key things that we do is we connect people. I make it my own personal mission to pretty much every day, whether it's LinkedIn or Facebook or another platform, to connect people who have common ideas, who have a way of doing research or perhaps commercializing products. And I know we have a few people here that work in uh, developing technology. Research meetups, research communities. How do we connect them outside of the domain that you particularly work in? We organize these networking events, sometimes face-to-face, -face, sometimes live. These types of events allow us to continue to grow that community. And one thing that you would have noticed is that we've started this LinkedIn community, the Bosnia Herzegovina Researchers Network. It's the platform where most of us are at. So we can continue to build new platforms, and I think you'll hear some great comments from Suad and the guys from Ant about a platform they are building. But we go where the people are as opposed to building it and inviting people. Both have their place in the market. But what's in interesting is that we've grown this to community to about 1,227 researchers in less than a few months. Now, why am I mentioning this? Because I think you need to understand the potential that we hold in our hands. And that is that the Bosnian and Skovina diaspora lives in about 40 countries around the world. In this map here, you can see it's an estimation of 1.5 to 2 million people residing in numerous countries. Without looking at the figures, the darker the color, the higher the density of Bosnian and Herzegovinians living in that particular country. So I'm glad to see that Australia, and Munib is pretty glad as well, Australia has a darker color rather than a light one. So we must be doing something right over here. But why am I showing you this? Because our estimation indicates that there are approximately 5,000, over 5,000 researchers of Bosnia and Herzegovina background around the world currently in academic research. And there are over 2,000 of them conducting mid to high level R&D work in commercial entities. So that is a conservative estimate. Some people will place that at 10,000, maybe even 15,000. But I've run some ghost scripts in the background just to scrape information. Uh, and we've indicated that it's about 5,000, at least from what we can see. And we know that not everyone is visible. So why are we here? We want to connect these people. And it starts with this smaller group here working its way through. Today, in this room or in this virtual classroom, we have over 80 registered participants. We have 65% of people who have PhDs. 25% of them work in industry or are associated with industry. And they come from 27 countries. And I think that's a pretty uh, neat achievement in a short time span to bring these people together. This slide here isn't there for you to read which institutions are represented. It's just to show you there are a lot of us. And we represent essentially all of Europe some Middle East countries, some in Southeast Asia and Australia. And it's quite incredible to see so many people from different institutions. We will give all this data to you so you have a reference point and you can connect with these individuals. But the research ecosystem is what we're interested in and we are all part of that research ecosystem. There are elements of this research ecosystem that we want to further explore. We know that there are universities and faculties. We know that there's research institutions that are not associated with universities, independent research centers companies that conduct research and develop in Bosnia, non-for-profit organizations that bring together academics such as Anul Beha, which Munib is a member of, not-for-profit philanthropic organizations, including Bosnia Herzegovina Futures Foundation, Ant, and other organizations. And then if we focus on what happens outside of Bosnia, we also know there are membership organizations out there, including 
the American Bosnian Academy of Arts and Science and so on. So there are a lot of, lot of different players in this space. And what do we want to do with all of these individuals and all of these organizations? Well, I think there's no one better to tell you about that than my colleague, Dr. Munib, uh, who will tell you briefly about what we've got planned. Well, uh, thank you, Eddie. So look, I think uh, we all kind of um, understand and know that the, the, the key value of any society is people. And then within these people, the science and the um, uh, knowledge that we create together. So we, we are actually um, living one interesting phenomenon that we have a lot of uh, Bosnian and Herzegovinians outside Bosnia and Herzegovina uh, kind of very successfully driving their careers in the academic world uh, and research world. And, um, and also we do have a, a lot of enthusiastic people and I can see recognize some of faces here in Bosnia who are really um, keen to push science push more um, knowledge and expertise in, in Bosnia and create um, get a very progressive society. So um, it, it's very interesting that we, then we, Ed, Eddie and I, because he started really uh, very nice uh, uh, initiative with this Bosnian Future Foundation, which uh, he recognized that it is important to start with young people and then expose young people to, um, to uh, the, some, some new things in the world, then they can go and back into Bosnia and Herzegovina and apply that. And I can see some students who are already doing PhDs or master's degrees in, overseas, and they are doing this here, but then we, we hope that they will uh, transfer, transfer their knowledge back to Bosnia. So, and then what, what was also interesting that we, we can see that uh, there are a lot of initiatives where we try to organize uh, in, uh, ourselves in some pockets, like, you know, so we have a, in America, we have a, a people who organize Academic Society Day. We, I think we have somewhere in Austria as well. We, are, we can see in Sarajevo there are some activities. So we, we, are, we are trying to do something, but we feel that we are fragmented. And, and the, the, we thought that might be good that we actually sit together and discuss and brainstorm what would be um, something that we can work together, uh, 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 society, uh, um, this uh, academic society in diaspora as well in Bosnia and how we connect together. So is this that we collaborate on some specific research field or is this that we collaborate in, in some, some aspects of understanding um, to support each other publishing or funding some initiatives or going through the, through the research initiatives and things like that. So that's the collaboration and, and we, we, this is pretty much open space. So, and I also want to say that um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Academy of Science and, and Art in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Anubik. Uh, they recently appointed um, um, new um, academics and they have, a, they have a category called Domaci Članovi, which is basically people who are Bosnian citizens but live overseas and they are in um, research and, and, and um, science field. And they, um, I'm, I'm really pleased that I have two colleagues here, Ahmed Kovacevic and Amin Khele. We Two weeks ago, we had this um, um, kind of ceremony, official ceremony, where they inaugurated us as academics. And we discussed with people in, in academia that we, there, is a, there is a great asset and potential overseas that we need to tap in. And then we need to find out the way how we connect this with Anu Bih. And then especially we, we uh, Domaci Članovi, uh, who, who are here, we, we, we were really keen to figure out and listen if there is something that we can connect academia and then have some systemic way of driving this um, field in, uh, not just in Bosnia, and it should, probably, it should go broader uh, with diaspora too. So, uh, and uh, today, we'll, all we will do, we will have a two kind of ses sessions, uh, we split in two sessions, one is that we will, we will discuss your experience. If you already have some experience collaborating with your colleagues within Bosnia and Herzegovina or with diaspora and things like that. And then we will brainstorm some ideas, uh, what we think we should do and how we should do it. So and we will talk about that m more. But before, before we start doing this, uh, I would just quickly go to icebreaker. Uh, we got, have a couple of questions and uh, um, Eddie will manage this. You will see on your right hand side there, there is a poll, and you, you will see questions, and then you respond back. Um, and we will have a 30 seconds to respond, respond on question, and Eddie will show the results from that survey. So, and then first one is quickly. Just can you write down what is your 
uh, field of research? Where, what's the area of your expertise? Fantastic to see them popping up on the screens. It's great. A few of you are still typing in. Yeah, it's really cool, actually. Well, by the way, we, this is very cool technology, I can tell you, guys. I feel that you are here with us. Yeah. So we're done. So let's see the results. So you should be able to see the results on your right-hand side, maybe even on your screen. Yeah, so, uh, well, quite... Diversified group, diversified group. Okay, so, well, it's very, very hard for me to summarize that because they are all over the screens. So, well, let's go to next question. Um, so, we would like to understand what is your status uh, of research collaboration. So, so you, up, you select one of what's most applicable for you. There, you have these four options here, and um, pick one. So most of the people are living in diaspora, collaborating with, with the, uh, the, in diaspora, diaspora, and then uh, living in Bay, in Bosnia and Herzegovina and collaborating within. So it's kind of we're really polarized. Like you know, you're either in diaspora and collaborate with diaspora, and it's very interesting actually um, uh, kind of data. And that's the kind of the purpose is how we can cross collaborate between these two two groups, one and four. Okay. Yep. So let's go to the next question. Um, what value do you place in research collaboration between Bosnia and Herzegovina and diaspora researchers? Uh, one being no value at all, and four would be very valuable. Is there, is there somebody who, so for example, um, Edin Leila, when you, when you put some value, is there a reason why you see that when you say that? And Alan, you say no value at all. Well, I can comment my answer. I yep. said uh, some, some value because it has been some value to up to now because I cooperated. I collaborated with a personal friend to write a book chapter. And I think if you phrase the question differently, what, how much value would you like to place, then maybe it would be uh, very valuable. But uh, up to now, it's been just some value. Okay. Well, that's fair call. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate that. So, you know, with majority people see value or um, a significant value. And I, this is last question. How likely are you to participate in collab collaboration with Bosnia and Herzegovina and diaspora researchers? What's your kind of um, orientation here? Not likely at all or very likely? So, okay. Well, Kais Hajic, so uh, you probably not sure which way you would like to go. Uh, de definitely, I would prefer to be at three or four, so likely or very likely, but like somewhat likely just speaking from um, current experience or prior experience where there were some attempts made uh, and it didn't work out all that great. Um, so I hope that in the future, well, something's changed and we can actually have some decent collaborations and so I can if we have this conversation like within a year from now I can be in the likely or very likely category nice well okay this is it could be a very good segue for our next section but let's actually see the results so if we have a result yep, I already showed okay the results, you, yeah. you showed the results so uh, so what we are going to do now is actually that's enough me and Eddie talking so now you guys are going to talk among yourselves so uh, what, we, what we tried to do in the first session, and we will have, you will have a 15 minutes. We will put you in groups, um, and then um, you will have 15 minutes to discuss your experience or some case studies or whatever you experienced uh, collaborating within Bosnia and Herzegovina or uh, between the diaspora and Bosnia and Herzegovina or within diaspora. So the, whichever way you want to go. But it's most important that you share exactly what um, where Kais was saying, uh, he has some. He didn't have a good experience, but it could be bad experience, could be good experience. Doesn't matter. So what we wanted also to say, when you start, when you go into breakout groups, so there is a link there. There is a link here what, what you have, and the, you can all put notes and select your group. When you click on this link, you will get one of the groups. When you get into breakout room, select your group and then put your notes there. And we would like one person to facilitate that discussion. 
and kind of summarize discussion for the group. And when you come back, we, you will all have a, a, some one or two minutes to share with everybody what is the conclusion from your group. Welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Let's each group actually present what, what are the main conclusions from the discussion, and then they can, they, you guys can share uh, w w how did you feel about that while you're talking to other people. So we'll okay, we'll start let's start with group, group one. Who is going to talk on behalf of group one? So we it have will be me. Who is that? Ahmed Kovaci. Ahmed, yeah, go for it. So, uh, we, we, um, it is a great experience and technology is uh, really fantastic. We at City University, we use a lot of technology, but uh, I'm impressed with this one because it's really uh, very good. You probably have a big team supporting you, uh, you know, at the backstage of, uh, of this uh, because it works really very smooth. Uh, so there were four of us in a session. Uh, we wrote uh, some text, uh, Farouk, uh, Aldiana, Riyadh and myself. Uh, so, uh, Aldiana lives in Bosnia. She is uh, uh, studying business economy, doing a PhD in business economy and trying to uh, combine political risks and green economy. Uh, she is a supervisor in the export credit agency of Bosnia and Herzegovina and has collaborated with people uh, from, uh, from uh, outside of Bosnia, but... Uh, not on research, and she is in interested actually to uh, to connect diaspora and uh, and uh, and the Bosnia researchers. Riyad is in Melbourne. Uh, he was uh, he is uh, uh, one of uh, uh, Eddie's students and uh, very active in uh, uh, foundation that you have. He has uh, uh, actively collaborated uh, with Faculty of Electrical Engineering in Sarajevo and. Uh, uh, there are open calls for people to basically come to Australia. So fantastic example of uh, you know, what Eddie is doing. And then um, uh, Farouk is uh, in Elektroprivada Bosnia Herzegovina, and he's doing his uh, <clears throat> master. Uh, he's working on his master uh, on a topic of uh, uh, mathematical optimization of the consumption of electrical energy. Uh, for electric vehicles. Um, uh, his uh, collaboration with Diaspora is not great, uh, but he's, uh, he's uh, collaborated uh, with uh, some people from uh, uh, Great Britain, Serbia, and uh, Montenegro. And I am um, a professor of engineering design and compressive technologies at City University of uh, London. I am uh, Royal Academy of Engineering Research Chair here at City, uh, and I'm, I'm very honored that uh, I've been uh, uh, elected to this uh, Domaci Chlan in, uh, in Anno B, and uh, I'm really very keen on uh, connecting people because uh, uh, when I left Bosnia in 1998 after the war, I was in Bosnia during the war, um, then rector of the university, uh, he told me, I know that you are not going to come back, but uh, uh, bring back something to Bosnia. So I taught uh, engineering design at the University of Tuzla from 1998 to 2008 until we produced first uh, PhD, uh, who first lecturer who could uh, actually take that course. Um, I organized... Uh, course called European Global Product Realization, uh, which is collaboration of um, final year students, undergraduate students on design projects, uh, which included uh, Netherlands, Switzerland, uh, Slovenia, Hungary, uh, uh, Croatia, and also Bosnia. Uh, we had the projects in Mostar with the University of Mostar. And um, I'm co-organizing co conference called New Technologies at uh, Academy of Science and Arts uh, in, in, uh, in Bosnia uh, with Professor Isa Karabegovic from Bihać, and it's going uh, on very well. I think Eddie um, and, um, and Munib are keynote speakers uh, at that conference this year. Um, I also have a, a lot of exchange with the students coming to see me, to study in here, and currently I have two people from Bosnia. One is uh, 
research administrator uh, in our center and uh, another one. So that's Ivona ivkovic Gihic. I should in involve her in here. And Hali Lachevich from the Faculty of Electrical Engineering who is studying for his PhD in my group. So, um, and I'm really very keen on... on uh, well, we need, we need you, Ahmed, and I will thank you very much for the detailed report. Yes, <laughs> let's go to group two. Who is going to Hanka, Leila, Nihad, Zorana, Gloria, Admir? Who is going to talk? Group two? I can do it. <laughs> Uh, so, summa summarum for group two, uh, well, we were really diverse group, but somehow polarized. Um, the younger researchers um, who were in their stage of master thesis usually had a problem of finding appropriate topic, uh, or the topic they're interested in researching was not um, actually presented them as an option to do. Uh, to do as their master project. Also, there was a uh, funding problems, uh, especially in Bosnia. Uh, but on the other side, I would call these problems slash challenges uh, because we have a, we have a good challenges that we can actually uh, solve. And the the experienced uh, researchers, professors uh, offer us few options. Actually, they said cost action and cost network is a good opportunity to connect with people worldwide, uh, CEPUS and also Erasmus. And they have all uh, amazing experiences. Uh, it led to amazing th them doing amazing things. So um, that would be it. Summa summarum. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. So let's go to group three. Kais, Asim, Samir, Edin, Ayla, and Alan. Who is talking? I guess I'll, I guess I'll take over then. Uh, there were about three main takeaway points from our breakout session, uh, which is first of all that most positive experiences were based like already on personal, existing connections. Like reaching out wasn't really um, something m most of us did. Like usually the collaborations that came to be were based on. Um, like I said, personal connections. Uh, the second takeaway is that um, we got the info from Isla that when collaborating with um, public universities in Boston, it can get very complicated, especially in terms of funding and trying to transfer funds. So in, in that case, if compensation is not required, it would obviously be a lot easier to, to set up a collaboration. And the third takeaway was that the University of Zenica, again, coming from Isla, is open to collaboration. And we already kind of talked about it and um, exchange info and um, we, we will keep in touch. Uh, and one last thing is that uh, we, we kind of all agree that we did not reach out to as many people and we don't uh, have that many people in our network from Bosnia and Herzegovina uh, that are doing similar stuff or that we could technically collaborate with. So I think this is kind of the perfect opportunity to actually connect with those people and establish those personal connections and then see where, what, where that leads in the future. Excellent. We like that last conclusion. <clears throat> I, I, I think it's, it's the way to go. That's why we set up this. So group four, thank you, guys. Um, group four, Suad, Edin, Igor, Vladana, Demir, Amra. Who is talking? Hi, it seems that I'm the representative of our group. Uh, it has been uh, basically only Amra, Suad, Igor, and uh, me. <laughs> I don't know where the others disappeared. Uh, however, we have discussed that there has been collaboration uh, by uh, researchers from abroad uh, with uh, Bosnian and Herzegovian institutions or universities. But after the project has ended, there has actually been a huge gap in communication after that. So um, we need to kind of propel also the communication from the other side, from the Bosnian and Herzegovian institutions towards us. And this is a really good way to do it. Uh, there are also, um, from the side of our uh, colleagues from Bosnia, I see that they have uh, lots of issues to get on board in a larger projects that could actually propel their research, uh, which is uh, pretty much correct, because uh, living abroad and working abroad, uh, we usually invite um, big, famous institutions to participate in large uh, EU projects, because that's the easiest way to get the grants. So I do understand that uh, uh, my colleagues uh, back at home have uh, issues to get on board. 
And in addition to all of that, uh, there has been also discussion about um, issues uh, in Bosnia regarding to finances, PhD and postdoc students. Uh, first of all, from the perspective that they have very, very limited uh, time to use the resources. Um, so um, probably us as a research community can uh, also help them to kind of, uh, if that is a possibility, uh, to influence a little bit legislation back at home. Um, we do understand that it's very complicated, that we have many cantons and uh, entities, and probably like a joint uh, um, uh, work uh, on uh, some new possibilities uh, would be really beneficial here. Yeah, well, and thank you. Thank you, Vlad. <laughs> and, I, and I can see a, a lot of ammunition for ideas, which we will go to next session. And, and I think we, we, we open up a couple of things already so we can discuss later. So we are now going to uh, group five. Namik, uh, Mersiha, Jelena, Dino, Irfan, Elvir. Um, hello. So I've been designated as the note taker uh, for this group. Um, we have... We have sort of like a mixed mixed background in the sense that uh, some of us really didn't have any experience with collaboration back home because we live abroad. Uh, others have uh, tried to connect with uh, people from Bosnia. And um, we kind of have two main takeaways from our discussion. First of all is that there are very interested and um, motivated individuals who would like to and can collaborate. However, as soon as some sort of governmental institution, public institution from Bosnia uh, needs to get involved, that's what halts uh, everything uh, in place. And it's just, uh, as I think Elvid said, it, it's a waste of time to even talk with them. Uh, the other uh, main takeaway that we had is that it is not the easiest for us to find other uh, Bosnians in our particular fields and um, we are a bit spread throughout the world so it's very important to have uh, networks and organizations such as this one so that we can uh, more easily find each other and connect and communicate. Nice. Well thank you Dino. Uh, we, we try to uh, avoid polit politicians and politics and we, we just <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, 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 politician, uh, polit and we don't want uh, cool. a political Group six. Group six, Sabina, Dushka, Denis, uh, Rialda, Jasna, Nermin. Who is talking? So you didn't select somebody who is going to brief us back. It was a struggle for power in the group. Yeah. Yeah, we did, but she's not here, so. All right, okay, someone take like, over. Denis, take over. Yeah, quickly, yeah, I'll just take a few, few things. Yeah, first of all, we thank you for this opportunity. So we, when we're talking, we use Bosnian language because we agreed to promote Bosnian, but I will do the English here. So the same as the previous group, all of us didn't have any experience uh, with uh, collaboration except uh, Jasna. Uh, actually, she's doing PhD in Barcelona and uh, the reason why she's doing that is because she got in contact with some of the professor from uh, America, I think. And she went to America and then step by step now she's in Barcelona doing her PhD. So the rest of us didn't have opportunity to co collaborate with uh, researchers from Bosnia and Herzegovina, but mainly we do collaboration inside Bosnia and outside with the professors from other countries that are not connected to Bosnia. So, good. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you. Good. Thank one. you. So, and finally, Group Seven: Emina, Adnan, Kemal, Zlatan, Mohammed, and Leila. Who is talking? I can maybe take over. So, I was the one uh, not officially selected, but I was taking notes. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, we had a five people overall. So we had the first three people, which we got a bit deeper discussion and then two uh, people joined. So uh, I, uh, my, my name is Latan and I'm also in Delft. So in, uh, previously I was in Graz and I had uh, some uh, nice collaboration previously, especially with Emina, who was second participant. So we already met 
in this session and we had previous collaboration through association for advancement of science and technology and also we collaborated with some students in bosnia previously and and uh, emina was actually professor previously uh, in in sarajevo and uh yeah I, I did some collaboration with university of sarajevo which was surprising also for me personally muhammad also has actually established collaboration with university of sarajevo with professor sasha mrdovic on some bilateral uh, projects and he is in a in a maribor so it's a quite quite nice example uh, we didn't have time more to discuss with uh, adnan memic so adnan memic uh, was is professor in King, King Abdulaziz University, but we didn't have much time to chat about the kind of uh, collaboration experiences and, and also Leila Alic. So she is now faculty at University of Twente, and yeah, we didn't have much time to get into the collaboration. Good, but overall, I think yeah, the experiences are very good. Yeah, good. Thank you, Zlatan. Um, look, uh, we, we are running uh, of, uh, out of time very quickly, and um, so we, qu we can't have any broader discussion about these topics, but it's very um, nice that you actually summarize your discussions. So what we are going to do to next session, and um, this is the ideation session, like brainstorming or brainwriting, or whatever you want to define it. Um, the, the point here is that we, we, because we don't have more time left uh, to go deeper. So what will be good, we will give you 10 minutes and then you uh, and we will go, you will go into breakout rooms again and but meet with different people. And then we, in these 10 minutes, put any ideas, just type them in, on the documents that you actually get there in your group. Just type those ideas and then when you come back, some of you will report back one or two ideas just for our orientation. But we will share those ideas with you because because of the time limit we need to finish this at five uh, eight nine thirty yeah we have uh, about 25 minutes yeah we have 25 minutes we'll give you 10 minutes to 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 uh, run ideas and be uh, I, I really like what people actually told us about their experience use that as an opportunity to get generate ideas yep Sorry Welcome guys, back. sorry guys, you are back now. We interrupted your, we can see you guys kind of very, very active conversations. I can see them. This so, is awesome. This okay, is awesome. good to hear that, Dennis. So um, what we are going to do, because we really struggle with the time, because we wanted you to share your experience previously. Can we, uh, we will capture your ideas if you put them on, on the document. And also you can actually continue putting these ideas on that document because this is live collaborative document, number one. Number two, we will give you each, we will give each group literally 15 seconds to say uh, the best idea they have in, in the group. And then we will spend five to seven minutes to explain what we are going to do as the next steps in, in the future, okay? So are you ready? Don't, don't kind of think twice when we say group one, who is going to say what's the best idea? Let's go, group one. Group one. Dem uh, sorry, Muhammad, Hanka, Elvir, Namik. Who is going to talk? I will talk. <laughs> Just quickly. You uh, have literally so, 15 seconds. Okay. Okay. Uh, the one of idea is uh, to have more like the meetups like this, but more uh, focused. Uh, maybe meetup for uh, IT industry, for chemical industry, and uh, all others. The second one is... Uh, uh, that uh, to uh, people from industry which uh, uh, work uh, abroad uh, to sharing industry viewpoint uh, view and technology application uh, by visiting uh, universities and uh, academic institutions in uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. And uh, uh, other is that the student uh, uh, abroad uh, to share their maybe research material uh, with students in Bosnia, which maybe don't have uh, the access uh, to uh, some material uh, that we have. Uh, well, we stop be, here. Anka, well done. You had more than <laughs> okay. one. Fantastic. Can we okay. group two? If 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 you have a similar idea like Hanka uh, uh, presented, don't repeat that. Just tell something new. Group two. Uh, uh, uh. I'll be quick. Uh, we had a few ideas. First one is uh, the idea that um, 
uh, association for advancement uh, of science technology has been working on for uh, for the past year. It's uh, creating of a platform that's something between ResearchGate and LinkedIn, LinkedIn just for researchers from Bosnia and Herzegovina. I sent the link in the chat. The other idea was to create some sort of a um, uh, petition, or I don't know, like uh, for, from researchers from in and outside of Bosnia and Herzegovina to. Uh, for uh, for the people that are making the laws in Sarajevo or the whole or the whole country to make them more flexible for research because the way they are structured now they make uh, like collaboration almost impossible and the last idea was just just to have more money like we have very, like, <laughs> how much how much <laughs> I mean now for example Canton Sarajevo spends three million uh, km which is like a million and a half euros. For research, which is split among like hundreds four, four of researchers, four and a half. They're promising four and a half. One, one and a half. <laughs> okay. While, okay. Like, for example, one Europe Horizon project okay. gives three million euros to one, just one professor. So, yeah. Sorry, so uh, fantastic. So money, it's a problem, and we we get this idea. Thank you. So, at group three, who is going to talk? Uh, I will. Uh, my name is Amra. I'm going to present uh, briefly ideas of group three. I hope you can hear me. Uh, so um, the main idea is that uh, in order to have the continue uh, the continuity in the research, we need to try to act uh, to actively involve the senior researchers as a project uh, coordinators to involve the researchers from uh, from Bosnia to EU projects, and therefore maybe some sort of a, of a database of the active or maybe a future research projects. Since mainly in Bosnia. Uh, uh, the people from academia are involved in Erasmus capacity buildings project, not, not the research project. So maybe uh, some sort of a database of the research projects uh, that have been uh, coordinated by the uh, researchers Se with Bosnian researcher. background in the EU. Yeah. Senior researchers with the, with the background from Bosnia, so uh, that maybe researchers from Bosnia can uh, can uh, can be involved in. Yeah. Okay. Is it, is it, any more ideas? I think we're done. Uh, that's, a, that's okay. Uh, Group four. You, you, you've said 50 seconds. You've yes, exactly right. Seconds. So, yes, you, you, I appreciate that, Amra. So, group four. 15 I seconds. Guess I was Group four. I guess I was voted to be the, 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 this. Uh, uh, <clears throat> in any case, I think you, you mentioned some of the ideas that we already uh, we, we had as well, like the yeah. academic uh, databases stuff. But I think what, what we kind of concluded was that the biggest issue really is those personal connections. And, you know, I think there's a very large barrier, you know, to somebody just sending an email and reaching out to people, because I think just in general, from, you know, our, the experience, it seems like it's really those personal connections that make the things work, given that there are so many obstacles in, you know, financing and, you know, administrative, you know, and all this bureaucracy stuff. So I, I don't know how that would be, but I, I think that's more of identifying a yeah. problem than necessarily presenting a solution. But that's what we can. But that's the, that's the idea. So, and then we we can we can talk about solution later on. So that's good idea. Group five. Thank you. And then group five. Okay, I'll be representative okay. of group five. Really fast. Uh, there is a one suggestion by Professor Ahmed Kovacic. He is keen to finance two ambitious Bosnian students to participate at an international conference in London, where he will be organizer uh, and chair and other ideas are mo most likely similar like other groups propose. So this will be advertised to our uh, Bosnian Herzegovina Research Network or LinkedIn as well. Thank you. Well, very, very specific idea. So it's excellent. Thank you, Ahmed. Appreciate group, that. Uh, group six. Group six. Come on, guys. Group, group six. Um, Zorana Leila uh, Admir Zlatan Guys. I, I guess I'll I guess I'll take over again. <laughs> Hopefully they don't. <laughs> but 15, they aren't 15 bothered. Seconds, so, guys. Fifteen seconds. Yep. Um, co connecting juniors with seniors because one without the other is kind of useless. Also, multidisciplinary is good, but also the the idea of group one to actually split it into specific spheres is also a great idea. Uh, and the last one being to actually make young researchers and the younger generation aware of the opportunities in Boston because there are plenty and most of them aren't aware of it. Nice. Okay. Good, thank you. And finally, group seven, Ayla. Uh, Do you hear me? Yeah, group seven. You hear me? Yes. Far. Okay, Talk. great. Talk. So four ideas in Eminem style. So the first one is a, mag a magazine for research papers publishing of Bosnian Herzegovina researchers with diaspora ones. Second one, remote dry labs because they have low cost and high benefits. 
third one platform for newbies to connect diaspora researchers and to enable multiple area collaborations and fourth one guest lectures of diaspora researchers in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Excellent. Very, very efficient. Thank you, Farik. Thank you, Farik. So, um, guys, we're, we're sorry to rush this. Uh, we just have a five minutes. and we, we, we don't hear this, but we can hear from speaker here. They're saying you have only five minutes to finish this. So a um, couple of th closing things. Um, first of all, I, I really, on behalf of Eddie and myself, we would like to thank you for coming and participating here. So we will send you, um, not just you, but broader group, we will send you a survey where we will ask similar questions that are kind of generating some ideas what else we can do. And we'll have an opportunity to, again, uh, uh, put your ideas together. We will synthesize that in the way and share with you. Oh, yeah, we will, have a, we will, pr plan, we will plan to do more sessions like this. Yeah. But you, in that survey, we will ask you how often and what's the forum, because we can see already ideas that we're saying, well, let's organize that per field or, or like, you know, specialization and things like that. So we can see if we see value, like multidisciplinary discussion like this, and then we go with the specific fields and then generate ideas with that too. Yeah, just a couple of closing remarks for me, guys. So obviously, we're all passionate researchers and we can often get engulfed in what we do, the domain that we're in. I think the other component is that community service. So the fact that you all came to this session means that you are doing more than what the average researcher will do for the community by reaching out, asking for help or providing help, depending on which end of the spectrum you are. I think the older you get, the wiser you get, perhaps wealthier, not always the case, you provide more than you take but it's an important element in sustaining the ecosystem that we're trying to build. So you presented great ideas. Some of these ideas will be realized, but they will only be realized if we work as a team. We mentioned before the complexity of the Bosnia and research ecosystem. It's one of the more complex ones, not only because of the complexity of our governmental structure, but it's also complex because of the diversity of organizations and the enormous diaspora that we have available. But this is not worth anything unless we collaborate and actually take these steps. So don't be shy to reach out to people because I think Adnan mentioned before, these personal contacts are key. When you build a personal contact, you build a personal relationship, you can really evaluate whether you want to collaborate with someone or not. Just because they have a lot of papers, a lot of research grants, does not mean they're going to be a good collaboration partner for you. I think many of you can say that from experience. I know I can. I've attempted research collaborations with many people in Bosnia. Most of them have failed. I'd like to think they failed not because of me, but I could have been the case as well. My point is we need to build those relationships and that takes time. So the community that we've set up on LinkedIn is just a starting point. It's not a great way to sift by discipline, as I think Suad mentioned before. We need a platform which is going to enable that. So you can select people from your domain and build those personal relationships by going through a virtual coffee or meeting people in Bosnia when you visit from the diaspora. So continue connecting and also help us build the community. So lastly, we have this three minute thesis competition starting now. It is a great community building tool because it gives us something tangible. You know, we like to say people meet up and talk about any topic, but when we do something concrete, we can also talk and connect and deliver. So please help us promote this competition. If you're a judge, do your bit. If you're a participant, help us bring other participants in these are great ways to build these communities, and we look forward to connecting with you again at some point in time. Uh, please share anything that you want us to share in that LinkedIn group. If you want to promote a conference, if you want to promote an event, if you want to just meet someone, or you're looking for someone or something, don't say funding because everyone's looking for funding. But something more specific, please reach out. We're more than happy to help out and share. And also, um, thank you very much again for making the time to join us this early in the morning. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. We appreciate your time. I uh, hope you learned something from me. We learned a lot, and we appreciate your presence here. We really appreciate it. If you have a feedback or uh, something else, feel free to reach out. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you.